Hello everybody, and welcome back to my little channel on this corner of the internet. Now, I saw while I was at work today that apparently BusyPop decided to release the uh, the merch drop for Hell of a Boss and Hasbin Hotel super early. Like, it's currently September 19th as I'm filming this, and she just released it today. And I'm honestly a surprise. I thought this would be, <laughs> like, beginning of October, but I'm better early, especially for in my case. <laughs> But I, uh, I did watch this while I was at work, but I couldn't really look into it. So, now I'm going to give my opinions on what this shit looks like, and then we'll look at the website and, uh, and see what we're going to be working with. Let's see. Oh, hey, welcome to the Halloween Hangout, your number one hangout for Halloween stuff. Whatever, man. I'm just here for the next month for some extra cash. <laughs> this place was a bed, bath, and beyond a few months ago. I would know. I used to work there. But now I'm working here while I find a more permanent employment solution. Doesn't help that my last bonus at Triple B was a stack of 20% off coupons. You know, That's not that. helping me anytime soon. Anyway, you're trying to get an early start on Halloween shopping, huh? You know who's also starting Halloween early? Vivzy Pop. In fact, if you haven't heard, she just launched her 2023 Halloween merch line featuring I'm, your favorite so characters excited. from Hell of a Boss and Has Been Hotel. Now, last I heard, there are over 30 oh, new shirt okay. designs available as t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, and hoodies, including these merch. All right, let's see. These look super cool. The Angel Dust one looks awesome. I like Beelzebub right here. And the, uh, where is... Oh, Octavia looks so cool here. So does Stolas. Murderous portrait designs available both in black and orange vary. Kind of want to get an orange shirt. <laughs> this looks cool. Some of these look good with orange. The Angel Dust does. No, I don't know about these two in orange, but... It's, as <laughs> well as a select few on this premium mineral tie-dye black I don't know about the tie-dye. The tie-dye feels a bit weird. I, I did finally get the shirts in from the, the summer launch. And the definitely the, the tie-dye does have a different texture to it. So if you're a little texture sensitive, maybe don't do the tie dye. But uh, it does look pretty cool. I thought this was like 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 jean. It kind of looks like jeans, like a like a jacket, like a jean jacket kind of feel. Like look sure. Good. Also premiering are these tarot Ooh. card inspired designs that glow in the dark, I want that as one. well as these other apparel designs. Oh, these are super cute. Look at this one, little guys. Uh, oh, this one is pretty pretty cool looking. Look at look at fat nuggets. He, he's just a little guy. Along with these new hat designs to make okay, sure your wardrobe is all stocked up for the Halloween season. There are also these ten Halloween themed plants. Oh my god, these are so cute. I mean, this was in the the thumbnail, but this is adorable. Also, this one's fucking cool looking. Okay, this one super cool with like half. Solus is normal form and half demon form. This like spirit board thing looks really cool as well. Uh, the, the oh, these are so cute. Oh, this one looks like the uh the Charlie and uh Vivzy Pop thing that they sorry the Charlie and Vaggy play mat that they did for witches and whatnot. And oh, this is adorable. They're just having mischief. I'm just realizing that Blitz is tied up in the uh, the pot. Playmats, oh. including this spirit board themed one, if okay, you're looking to conjure sure. your own demons. They're also available as posters if you don't feel like playing around. All this stuff is only available until October 3rd, so get them before they go away. Like my last job went away, leaving me stuck selling candy corn, which... How old is this stuff? You know, I have a date. A personal Does candy corn go bad? <laughs> yeah, whatever, like I care. Oh, there are almost 50. Now, this is going to break my fucking bank account. Look how many they released. Oh, there's like barely any has been stuff, but you know what? That's to be expected now. Let's let's see. Okay, so these are part of like Halloween party. I love it. I love the energy that this fat nuggets has. With just him with a knife. And then Octavia looks pretty cool. I'm pretty sure she's supposed to be like be a witch. And then Solus is also supposed to be like a witch. These are super cute. These glitter ones. Is there one? Yep. There's there's Alistair right here, and then Verasica looks pretty cool as well. 
Hopefully we get to see Verasica again in, a, in an episode. Angel that looks so cute with the little cat and whatnot. I love how they just made Bad Nuggets a ghost. Very cute. They also brought back like the sketchy set, but Halloween. Also, these look super cute. Definitely copying that for myself. Right. Pins this year, including Lentic. Oh, these look so cool. You got like an Alistair one. I wish there was another Angel Dust one. That would have been really cool. But uh, Beelzebub's over here. We got little Stolas. Human Stolas. Foxy looks pretty cool here. And then Decella, actually. actually looks Killer pins that change their images when you take. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's really sad now. <laughs> I know what it was before. Oh, no. That looked pretty cool. I love Luna. It was like her there, and then... Oh, wait, wait, there's a... Okay, so... Lenticular four. pins that change their images when... Oh, that one's really sad. What the... You what tilt the them. <laughs> these goth-themed pins. The goth, okay. They do look very goth, especially uh, Verasica with the spider and, like, the tongue piercing and whatnot. Uh, definitely getting these for myself. Halloween costume themed pins. Yeah. Cute Halloween orange glitter pins. These cool silver. These are cool. They're like little fiery portrait pins. Uh, these look so good. Verotica be looking good. I will not lie. Octavia definitely copying. Stolas looks pretty cool here. And then we'll get the Moxie one. Fiery portrait pins. Ooh, there are also these other pins and pin sets to round out I the know, Halloween so fun. Cute. And for the first time, there are a couple of pin display boards to show. Okay. Pretty sure this one's for a hell of a boss, and then, and then this one is has been hotel thing because I feel like with the eyes and whatnot. So. Go so off pretty. your Vivzy Pop pin collection. I heard that's been a big request for a while. Also new are these metal Ooh. trading cards of some of your favorite Hell of a Boss characters, and they come in a cool four-card set. Okay, that Speaking is of cool. metal stuff to buy, Grimoire necklaces are back in stock, but now That's also cool. available in silver and rose gold colors. To oh, no. <laughs> no, more things for me to buy. <laughs> I'll, I'll hold off on getting these. Unless they get dangerously low in stock, I won't stress about getting them. The silver looks pretty cool. I don't, know, I don't know how to feel about the rose gold. I thought this was bronze. Match any costume you don this year. Not saying you can't just wear these whenever you want, though. Debuting as well are these demon-themed snapback hats okay. with big, bold faces the on them. Cool. As well as these six skeleton keychains. Oh, okay. So they just like, had like, x-rays of them. You can somewhat tell who is who. The stuff with Octavia. Stolas looks pretty cool. I forget that tails don't have bones. I thought they well these guys have oh, oh I guess he's he has feathers. Huh. Okay. Things that really glow in the dark. I mean big and bright. Ooh. There's also this new black and red foil demon variant of the oh, Grimoire notebook okay. available in lined and unlined paper. Mm -hmm. And rounding things out are these witch themed sticker packs with a glitter finish on them. All these products I are limited glitter. stock, with most of it being limited edition. And once the limited edition stuff sells out, they're gone forever. Just yes. like the six weeks of accrued vacation that I will probably never see from my last employer. Man, I really should have taken a trip to Cancun with Deborah last year. <laughs> Might have even saved our marriage. Anyway, just go over to sharkrobot.com slash vivzypop to grab all There's the Halloween so stuff before it's gone. Limited time items are available until October 3rd, and the limited stock stuff is only around until it sells out. Damn, already stuff is already starting to sell out, and it, we, it just started. Like, I got home, checked Twitter, boom, those, those pin boards are already selling out like crazy. All right, let's look. See what's available. All right, fine. Well, I guess except I use my computer. All right, all right. So these looks the cases are a little bit different because this one's blue, this one's gray, and this one's like a pink. At least it's a little different instead of just slapping them in the same case over and over again. All right, these look super cool. These are metal, and I love how it says Series One Wave One, which means we'll probably get the other characters. I really want a Solus one. That would be super cool. Also, I don't have to worry about this if it sells out. At least I don't think I do. Hopefully not. 
These look super cool. I wish I had my other grimoire book up here, but I believe it's downstairs. But the, the red on here looks really cool. I don't know if I'm going to get this, the sketchbook one or the lined one, but I'll figure it out. The goth stuff looks pretty cool. I already thought Octavia was goth. It was just like, brought it out a bit more. It just looks like they've just put black eyeliner on Moxie to call him goth. He is, he is as edgy as a countertop. Okay. The Halloween party stuff looks really cute. I love it. I love how, like, Moxie and Millie are kind of matching with the whole Miss Frankenstein and Frankenstein thing. It just kind of looks like... <laughs> and Luna kind of looks like she has rabies or something while she's foaming at the mouth. Uh, Blitz is a clown, obviously. I don't know what, um... Oh, she's supposed to be Medusa. Is that it? Because she has snakes. And then I'm assuming witches for these guys. But the these are super cute. Oh, I'm going to wonder, like, which pin's going to sell at first? That is the question. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give two guesses on this. I feel like it's going to be the Fat Nuggets pin. Right here, this little glittering one. And then... Second option is probably going to be Beelzebub, because this is super cool with her, like, uh, demon form and just her just chilling. So, my favorite so far. Also, I love how Chaz got one. and it, He's, like, he got introduced in one episode and then died in the same episode, so I find it funny that he's getting a lot of merch, <laughs> even though he ain't coming back at all once he faked his own death. Oh yeah, Upset Luna. Really cool how she goes from angry to just being in a cone. Also, Moxie's looks pretty cool. Him with the ukulele and then flipping into his uh, human disguise form. And then here's the other Luna one. That's really sad. I know, I know she was crying in that same episode where she went from excited to crying. So this one's just super innocent child, depressed adult. If that doesn't tell you about the like gen z that 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 will that will looks pretty cool here and this looks like it's straight from the uh the episode four one or where she's like <laughs> like straight up admitting that she hired an assassin and then the angry phone and whatnot and drillipus looks pretty cool hopefully we get to see more of him what he actually is because um i mean stella uses him as a as a threat several apparently it was implied several times before so I want to see, like, what does he do, you know? Oh, so I love this. Her, uh, the outfit that she had in episode 7, and then her little ghost one. Not really ghost, it's like Blitz's hallucination and whatnot. I don't know what he is drunk from here, but he is wasted. <laughs> and then Alistair. Really cool. I love how they're bringing back the neon one a little bit. Hopefully they give husband a little bit more stuff. Surprise, no Charlie, because uh, she has a demon form and whatnot. All right, these look pretty cool. The portrait pins. I hope they bring other characters into this. Maybe they're testing out a different one. They're silver pins instead of gold, so that should look very. Is there a little? Let me do the stolest one. Okay, there's no other examples of them. I was hoping maybe you can see if they shine and whatnot, but I guess we'll see when they get here. Also, these are super cute. Look look at the little baby. Hey, look, look at Solis' face. He's so cute. Oh, and these pin boards look amazing. I was just thinking about getting another pin board. I don't know how many of this is going to fit, though. Uh, maybe like... Maybe like six at the top and then four down. So what? what is that? Uh, 24 pins that can go on there. And actually, it gives you a good uh, estimate of what these pin sizes are for the, uh, the merch. Shows these a bit more round. I thought they were more, uh, longer. Actually, let me go back. Yeah, it looks like they're longer. Maybe this was, like, a, like, a demo. I feel like they're supposed to be, uh, longer. Yeah, we'll find out when they get here. Yeah, because those look a lot more circle. 
The shirts look amazing. I love how they're doing the tarot card ones. Angelus looks so cool on here. With Alistair. Oh, Charlie and Faggy! I'm glad they brought them back. Husk is here. Human Luna. Normal Luna. Octavia looks pretty cool here. Then you got Stolas. That one looks great. I really want this, the Fat Nuggets fortune. He's, he's just a little guy. He's so cute. That one's also pretty cute. Okay. And then here's these. Looks like they're a bit more... These look pretty cool. I, I really like the orange on for... I really like the orange. <laughs> Also for uh, Beelzebub because she's yellow a lot, or I guess her environment's yellow. Orange would probably look nice on her as well. Octavia, I don't know how I feel about Octavia. The imps probably do as well. Like they look nice with the orange. These guys definitely look good with the orange. All right, playmats. So I already counted four that I need. <laughs> uh, def th this Luna one looks super cool with all the pumpkins and whatnot. So, and then this be. If you like Beelzebub, definitely get this one. This one is super cute. It really does feed into her whole, like, gluttony thing, so... I recommend that. I might get that for Gummy. It, it, it depends. I'll see if they want it. If they do, I'll, just, I'll make sure to ship it. <laughs> but these keychains look cute as well. I, I love how, like, the, the imps have, uh... It's, I guess it's canon. I don't know how canon the merch is. But, uh, there's bones in the tails of the imps. But let me pull up Stolas. Stolas doesn't have a tailbone. Octavia does, but Stolas does not have a tailbone. So how does he control his tail? <laughs> I mean, I guess he is a demon, I guess. With magic. <laughs> On these glitter pins. They look... Not glitter pins, my apologies. Uh, glitter stickers. They look so cute. Uh, I'm probably going to get both of them because my... My favorite characters are on each one, like Octavia's on this one, then Solus is on the other one. I'll probably will give these to people that will appreciate these. AKA probably Gummy when I finally send off my stuff. But these look pretty cool as well. I'll I'll probably show them like the set and I'll be like, I'm keeping this one and this one. And this one. Which one do you want? And then they're probably gonna say Beelzebub, Millie, Brassica, and Luna. So I'll probably just keep the rest. But, um, that one's pretty cool. More shirts, but this time hoodies. And then long sleeves. I don't know how the long sleeve ones would feel. Because I already see how they're, they're on here and whatnot. I don't know if it would feel comfortable, you know? At least to me. Mm. Alright, and the posters if you don't want to get the play mats. This one's really cute. Moxie and Millie going through a little graveyard. This one really cool. We we can when I get the play mat and we can play in the the spirit board and summon a ghost. <laughs> also, this one's super cool. Is that blood? Hold on. Roll that roll that shit out. That oh that that looks like teeth. Okay, pretty cool. I like it. Oh, this one's. Fucking cool looking. Look at this. It looks like a, like a puppet master. I think that is it implied that Alistair is a puppet master. I don't know. Okay, and then it looks like they have the the old Halloween merch of last year, which I mean, almost all of this is on sale. So if there's any characters you're missing, get some nifties here. A little nifty. And oh wait, yeah, you got like Charlie. There's Baggy. There's a couple of the uh. Yeah, there's another Charlie right here. So you'll get some Pazman Hotel stuff. You know, there was nothing in this one. There's never any Pazman stuff anymore. It's, it's just, like, Angel Dust and then occasionally Alistair, and that's it. That's all we get for Hasbin now. Which is a little sad, but maybe, we'll, maybe when the show comes out... I don't know how it will be with when the show comes out with merch. Are they allowed to sell merch since they sold the uh the show to eight twenty four? Who knows? I don't know. I'm not an expert. 
All right, well, I think that's going to do it. I already have a couple of shirts in mind of what to, to ask for, because these look adorable. I'm surprised there's no mug this year. No Halloween mug. Oh, I guess uh, the last mugs that they did were uh, a lot. They had like five, right? Yeah, they had like five different mugs last year. So maybe they're calming it down this year. Because they had like over 100 items this year. And you can, like, I think it was at nine pages before this drop. And now it's at 15. So six pages just filled with new stuff. So I, I really hope they sell out of all this this time. Because I know for the Halloween of, I believe it was 2020 or maybe 2021, they had a lot of stuff left over to the point that they had to do, like, the Halloween mystery bundles just to get rid of everything. So hopefully that won't be the case this year. Hopefully people do like all the stuff. I mean, I think most of this is shirts because I think there's 30 plus designs and then you got to do variants of hoodies and long sleeves. So this will probably go down. All right. And then let's see. There's still some, some summer stuff left over as well. Some of this stuff is low stock. Oh, I'm surprised fucking Valentino's still here. Yeah, we got restocks on a couple of things. Yep. Oh yeah, some on sale. You can go cop some uh some merch for a discounted price. Actually the standees. Uh, the standees are selling out fast. But uh, I think that's gonna do it for this uh this little watch thing. This I cannot wait for some of this stuff. I already went ahead and I believe I got the uh the characters that I wanted in these pin I'm trying to get them all together, that way when I do open them on camera. It's all the same set, quote unquote. So that way I can compare them directly and whatnot. Instead of getting like a random one from here, a random one from here, a random one from here and whatnot. So trying to play it a bit smarter this time. But anyway, I guess the next time you see me do a busy pot video, I'll be opening the Halloween merch of 2023. Uh, I don't know what Black Friday is going to look like, honestly. It'll probably just be in. Some bundles, nice wrap up of things, maybe some Christmas stuff, who knows. But uh, anyway, my name is Phoenix, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!